give me the name of his son? Find David's son. Uh, you're not David's son. Where did Jerry go? Oh my god, look, I yelled at him once because he was dancing during a funeral. Oh my god. Thanks for showing up, just had to smack talk you. He is super dead. Oh my god, no, <laughs> no. Uh, let's try not to disturb the corpse. Whatever. Bia. Oh. No. <laughs> Let me really quick read this so no dogs or... He did have some good uh, armor. I'll give him that. At least he was uh, prepared a little bit. To Papa. Dad, I'm sorry, but I'm not your son. I'm a synth. I don't know when I was replaced, but I'm a synth. I've been talking with the railroad on my scavenging runs, and they tell me they can give me a new future by getting rid of my old past. I'm sorry for leaving you, but I'm not your son, and I can't keep living knowing that. This is the last thing I'm going to do as David. I'll wake up and be someone else. I hope the snow to rise safely and brings you peace. Farewell. The man you thought was your son. Oh, David. Or non David. You fool. Thank God you're safe, Junior. Who the hell are you, old man? Hey, you. Look, my boy returned. Oh, he, that's right. He was a synth. Hey there. Hmm? What happened? My son, he's come home, but he doesn't remember. Probably just had one too many at the dugout. Uh, that ain't your son, man. What do you mean? He looks like my son. He probably just got a little bump on the head, so his memory's all jumbled up. I found this letter on a dead railroad agent. Your son was replaced by a synth. I'm sorry, David. A synth? If he was replaced, I would have noticed. He is my son. Wait. Are you saying those robot-worshipping crazies butchered my boy's mind? No, no. He was a synth, and then he realized this, and he went to join the railroad, and that's why his memory got erased. That's my boy, Jameson. And you're telling me I haven't lost him once, but twice? Jameson. That's my boy. Well, he's your robot boy. I'm sorry, maybe you should uh, get away from all this? Get a new career? Yeah. Without my boy, this farm has no meaning. I'll come join your outcasts. All I had to do was clone his son. Alright, um... not gonna ask you to do anything. You clearly need time. I mean, he does. But, alright, meet us at the bunker. Very well. I'll see you there. I'm sorry, David. Get out of here, Henry. Excuse me. I don't really have anything else to say. Come on, just a little bit. I don't really have anything else to say. Fine, fine, Henry. Oh god, she's playing again. She's always playing. I think last time we waited for the song to stop. What, another one of you mercs looking for McCready? He's in the back room. No, 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 I'm looking, I'm looking for this guy. I'm not talking to McCready. Uh, JC Denton? I definitely use that. We definitely said this the last time. Hi. What do you need, civilian? I'm JC Denton. I go by JC. Any further questions? Yeah. Rather formal for a man who was dishonorably discharged. Just because I got kicked out doesn't mean I need to get rid of the order in my life. Besides, how did you know that? The jacket. Work for a group of Brotherhood Outcasts. Not interested. I don't want to get involved in Brotherhood politics again. But what if I convince you? No. I have different plans right now. Maybe we'll see each other again. But for now, tell your protector, or paladin, or elder, or whatever, that I'm not interested. Alright. Until next time, farewell. You then. We need to have a. Oh god. Oh god, oh god, oh god. No, 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 no. I'm not working for that old guy. Failed. <laughs> he didn't give me a choice. All right, so I do like that we have the interior. I think that's new. Yay. Awesome. All right, sweet. That is a very nice 
quality of life. I'm not sure if that was there last time, but... Excuse me. Hey, old friend. Uh, yeah, I got you two of the three specialists. One of them, uh... Old Coot McCloy is here. Very good. I've already clued them in on the situation, and they're willing to do what they can to help. Wait. Is that the alarm? Quick! Take this and get to the entrance. We need to deter the intruders. Shoots an additional projectile. Oh my god. Stealth boy, I can hide. Come on, Jerry. Drink your Gatorade and get out there. Oh my god. Holy Jameson. Oh my god. <laughs> Oh my god. Mm. Helen and Whitman's unstoppable. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Holy Jameson. My gun is silent for some reason. Professor Dick Turtle have any uh, good stuff? Get the Vulcan cannon. Everyone's got the Vulcan cannon now. Excuse me. Hail, friend. That was crazy as hell. From the looks of it, a Brotherhood strike force. We might need to up our security if they know that we are here now. You did good work defending us, recruit. I think you've more than earned the rank of regulator. True to steel, friend. Alright, what happens now? With this affront, it is clear that Maxon is aware of us, and has elected our eradication. I cannot sit still for this. Our plans must be expedited with haste. With their first contingent dead, it won't be long before they realize we've survived and order another strike upon our walls. We need to prepare for a much bigger fight. Maxon is determined on our extermination. Colvin knows about a lot of pride outposts and caches. Talk to him about getting us some more supplies. All right, straighten up and fly right. Talk with Colvin. Shoot out, <laughs> shoot a minigun out of a bird. Uh, how are you feeling about Colvin? Colvin? I would say he is the heart and soul of our family. He is steel incarnate. A will so strong and undaunted is a rare thing. I do suspect he has not come to terms with the loss that he has experienced. He tries so hard to be the rock that we can all rely on, to remain stoic in the face of yet another loss. I fear this pattern will eventually break him. He needs to find a way to grieve, for us, and, more importantly, for himself. Farewell. Still be with you. Colvin. Hey there. Yes? Oh, man. Uh, do you have a plan to help with the Brotherhood? How'd you end up in the Brotherhood? No. You got a plan, man? I have an idea. But I'm gonna need you to get Ridley back upstairs. She's down working on that VR pod. Always with the games. Go get Ridley, alright. And I am taking this. I don't know if we had one and we dropped it. Why'd you close all the Jameson. doors? Oh. Yo, can you get out here? Hanging out in your creepy ass hellhole? Oh, Jesus Christ. It is dark as balls down here. Did you even get in there? Good to see you again. Jesus Christ. What were you doing down here, you freak? I'll be right up. Good God. You're famous. Terrifying. I don't know what she's doing down here, Steve. Gotta find the terminal. What do you mean the Jameson. door's locked? Oh, this is, she's Jameson. Hey, man, I don't know what she was doing down Good. there. Good. Oh. We're all here. Yeah. Back when Lyons was still with us, the Pride took an expedition to a pre-war military base up in the mountains to use rare and experimental medical equipment. And I remember the entire senior staff went with them. This was after we took out the Enclave, but before the Outcast became a major threat. Yes. The place was only accessible by air, 
And given how rare vertebrates are and how unknown this place is, it's likely been untouched since we were there last. So my plan is that we go there, load up on as much as we can, and fly back. Quick in and out job. Quick drop and grab. So what's this place? Pre-war military complex. Best we could tell it was used for off-the-grid research and disposal. They had some training grounds set up there too, but we won't have much time to look around. It'll just be a quick smash and grab. How will this help us with the Brotherhood? The place is full of untouched pre-war military technology. Power armor, heavy ordnance, armored vehicles. We grab anything and our odds against the Brotherhood have already improved. Alright, how are we going to get there though? Oh no, not him. I've got an old friend that can help us. Come on, I'll show you. He's a talking plane. Follow Colvin. Oh, Colvin, what are you gonna... What do you got goofed up? Oh, my power armor, I left it somewhere. Son of a... Jameson. Ooh. We're going to the depot hangar. Oh, nice. Oh, this is awesome. Oh, this is so cool. This is brand. Oh, oh yeah. Hard stock, you son of a bitch. How's the bird coming? This is how we're getting there. Call in, you bastard. <laughs> well, birds definitely seem better days. A couple of gunners decided it'd be funny to pluck a few of her feathers out, but with some good old fashioned tender love and care, ain't no reason I can't get her flying again. I see you brought friends. This is that newbie I keep hearing everyone blabber on about? That he is. Pleased to meet you. And, uh, hey, Ridley. Nice to see you again. Yeah, whatever, Cardstock. I was thinking, given we're bringing her along, might as well have her as a co-pilot. Wait, really? <sighs> fine. Just don't touch anything till I've shown you how everything works, all right? Oh my god, thank you. Hold your horses. Like I said, she's not flyable yet, and I'm gonna need some help getting her in the air first. If you could push her a little bit, um, how can I help? I imagine that's where I come in. Bingo. Gonna need some replacement parts to get my bird airborne again. If you wouldn't mind helping me out. How can I help? Perfect. I've known about these spots for a good while now, but since they don't offer delivery, I'm gonna need you to go there and pick up my order. Uh, sure. I'm a little bit busy right now. Where are we going anyways? Ah, oh, yeah. It's an old military complex in upstate New York. Oh, boy. Well, I'm from Utica, and I've never heard of it. Oh, it's not in Utica. No, it's more of an Albany location. <laughs> all right, awesome. Let's go. Well, all right. The recon teams told me that there's an old vertebrate just sitting pretty at the National Guard training yard. Might just have what my baby needs to get airborne again. So go out there and grab what you can from it. Yeah. All right, awesome. I don't recall this part last time. Or if it did happen, uh... It was in a very different location. This is great. What a beaut. Take some shots in here. All right, so we are here, uh, north of County Crossing, but I decided to go up here, find some. Can you be quiet, Radio Shack? Ugh, I hate that place, it freaks me out. Man, we got a lot of bloat flies today. Alright, so... It's this... Whoa! It's this little turkey. It's this little, uh... Building here. I'm too big to get in the window! Oh my god, we can't do drive through <laughs> <laughs> Professor Bones just flew by. Alright, uh, get... Get the pigs, Jerry. Nice, awesome. We didn't have to go too deep, Jerry. Nice, all right, cool. Santa came early, everyone. Excuse me. Yeah? Sa S Santa came, um, Santa came early. Well, all right, step one done. So, uh, Ridley and I have been trying to get this bird fixed. But Colvin's been telling me that the flight's gonna be quite a long one, and from what I know, we're gonna need a lot more coolant than we have on hand. Think you can go grab some more? Just call me the coolant man. The old mass fusion containment shed. 
They stored a lot of supplies over there, but they also stored a bunch of waste in there too, and all those rads mean it's probably untouched. Grab some rad X and grab the coolant and we can get in the air. Awesome. Alright. Hi. Yeah? Tell me about yourself. Has this hangar always been here? Always has been. Wouldn't call myself a people person, though. Never really felt like shooting the shit in tin cans with a laser rifle with the rest of the Legion. Just preferred working on maintenance of my bird. What's with you and Ridley? Oh yeah, sure. Little Miss Know-It-All read all these little books about flying and everything. <sighs> she ain't never spent a damn second in the air, for real. And now she wants to go around telling me how to do my job? Oh yeah, but, you know, my bad for not wanting to entrust literal years of my life's work to this complete newbie. Hey man. You know Colvin, right? Yeah, we go way back. Hey Danny, remember medic training? Oh god, don't remind me. And don't call me Danny. Mr. Stoic here doesn't like people calling him by his first name. Don't you, Daniel? I wonder if flight helmets are rated to protect against power-armored uppercuts. <laughs> How about we don't test that? Pilot Hardstock was immediately killed. Tell me about yourself. Ah, well, my name's Hardstock. Of course, you'd know that if you see me back in D.C. Best ace in the vertebrate the Brotherhood's ever seen. Took a whole squad of Talon Company down with just one straight for the 30 cals. Ooh, pff, I was there. He's exaggerating. <laughs> exaggerating my ass, Colvin. You were the one who called in the strafing run because your ass was pinned down behind that wall. I wouldn't have been pinned if our air support was more focused on doing his job instead of showing off. Oh, you boys. Alright, I'll be back. Hey, who's this guy? <coughs> true to steel, recruit. Yeah, true to steel. Hey, who's this guy? What are you here for, man? Hmm? Just gonna sit in the dark? It's kinda creepy. Oh, is this one of your offices? Are you the uh, other guy? Wait a minute, what? Oh, you got. Do you sleep in the creepy room? I sleep in the creepy room, that's where I live. It's where I got my spoon and my shiv. Oh. oh okay. Tack dog just swimming. Wait, he's sleeping on the water. Is that a Jesus dog? Oh my god, that's a Jesus dog. He's just floating up. Oh. Oh no. Oh, 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 oh! Alright. Not our mission. Let's go, Jerry. Oh. I guess the game wanted me to go there. Oh, this is where the, uh. Whatchamacallit? The Blade Runner references. Alright, so the coolant's in there. The coolant's right in there! Hey, Blade Runner, how are you doing? Oh, wow, you're. Holy shnikes, you were really dressed up, dude. Drifter's hood, drifter's armor, damn. Oh, the true identity of the drifter. Yes. Mm. All right, so that's a Pignus mod. The drifter armor too? I'm so sorry, sir. Here, I'll make I'll make it look like you kicked the Jameson. robots. Now, now it kind of looks like you guys famous to death, huh? I'm here. Wait. There we go. All right. Whoa! Sorry, Jerry. I just crushed your skull. Yeah, here's my dogs. Ain't your cake. Come on down, visit Million Ghouls. Alright, so we got a Kodiak's hammer that we never used. Oh, hey! Hey, little Jimmy! Oh, and a. There's little Jimmy and his pet rat roach. Yo, just let me in. Jerry, we never come here, and there's a reason for that. It's mainly the radiation, but... You know, it also sucks here. 
I'm getting zero radiation, by the way. I don't know what's... I don't know if someone cleansed the area. Usually we'd be having rads all over. Oh. How about you pick everyone except for the right one, you famous an idiot. <laughs> Just breaking the concrete. In a door behind a door. Maybe this power armor is just really good at sucking up rads. Hey, man! Hmm. You had your whole your whole life to get ready for that, and you you missed the first swing. What an idiot! I will remake you and your toy rocket ship. Oh yeah. Reactor coolant toxic. Oh nice. We got a little uh. Custom texture, very nice. What the Jameson. Oh, standard. Right now. All right. You know you're flooding it, right? Ah, oh, it's fusion powered. I literally can't flood it. Vibrant <laughs> fusion powered. It doesn't use a cool <laughs> system with liquid at all. I know everything. I'm Ridley. What was that? I ain't said nothing. Hey, man. You guys are uh, making progress? Hi. Yeah? Because I got the coolant. Ah, great. Me and uh, Ridley have been trying to get the bird to start, but uh, she's having issues. The power manifold is busted and they're hard to come by. <sighs> Ridley probably broke it with all her fiddling around. Now, if I was a betting man, I'd give a good wager that you could find a piece of military hardware like that at a place like Fort Strong. Although... You know, I probably could rig a Rocket 69's power manifold to work for us. Eh, you can check that old Corvega factory for that. Rocket 69, Rocket 69. Catch you later. Alright, awesome. So, I don't remember which one we went to last time, but looks like we have a choice. Find a vert vertebrate power manifold at Fort Strong or a Rocket 69 power manifold. I mean... I kind of want the Rocket 69 one, but I feel like we went there last time. Rocket 69. All right, so I i don't know what I'm remembering, but I'm going to, I wanted to hit that turret. Hello. Just here for a helmet. Engine. Engine helmet. Here you go. Smashing some skulls downtown. Walking fast. Getting home before breakfast. Sorry about your arms and hands and ankles and bones. And all of it. Oh. Alright, well, Jerry's taking care of business every day. Taking care of business every way. Whoops. Sorry about that. There's an engine here. I hopefully didn't explode. <laughs> Is this thing under it? It's above it. Who is that? You know, there needs to be a mod to replace this sound effects. It's loud as balls. Power manifold. Now you can get AM radio. Got it. Jameson. Got the power manifold. We should be good to go. Yeah, sounds good. Now, can you convince Colvin to get his daycare student out of my cockpit? Hey, Hardstock. I know you two have issues, but I don't want to hear it. I'm the senior officer here. My word is what goes. You don't like it? Talk to Phillips. She's co-pilot, and that's final. Got it? 
All right, Daniel, you win. She'll be the co-pilot. Anyways, let me know when you're ready to fly out. Just don't bring any more surprise guests. Or power armor. The overhead bins are full. All right. Chapter 2 is best experienced by a mid-level soul survivor with no power armor and no companions. They'll have to stay behind while you make new friends. Hopefully they aren't the gels types. Before you fly out, I do recommend stocking up on ammo and stims because you're not going to be able to return to the Commonwealth for some while. I accept. I'm going to bring my companions anyway and break certain aspects of Chapter 2. <laughs> Get you later. All right. Jerry, Steve, look. Just stay in the room. Don't touch anything. Jerry, you're going to touch something, aren't you? Steve, can you just watch Jerry for me while we're gone? Okay. Watch the power armor, won't you? Make sure this freak doesn't use my power armor, okay? Game is a weirdo. Don't use my stuff, all right? Don't do it. 